you know, um, the, the, as, an, as an educator, what I try and do is find the right places for my students to go to school where it's going to be a good value for them. Uh, and, you know, because if you continue to look at a school and it's, if you look at your, your schools and, and you're like, well, music schools, I want you to go to Juilliard, I want you to go to Eastman, or I want you to, these places are very expensive. You know, Juilliard, I think now is going to be free if you get in. You know, so that's your 0.1% might get into that school. You know, schools like Eastman are, you know, like $64,000 on paper, but, you know, your really highly high end talent kids are going to pay somewhere in the 20s to get in there. It's they, they start throwing scholarships at them. But you got to find there's plenty of schools, there's like 1,700 plus schools out there in the country that have programs, they have money too, endowments that can, afford, they can help these kids. There's $3.4 billion in scholarship money, music scholarship money or art scholarship money that's left on the table every year. So as just last year, I found out about this new program called scholarshipauditions.com, which I wish I would have known about as a kid, but it didn't exist, right? So let's say as a teacher, I only know four or five schools that I can recommend to my students. There's a couple of local ones and one that's kind of a little further out, and I know about their programs. So. You know, Johnny, these are your schools to apply to. With a system like this, this scholarshipauditions.com, what it allows you to do is create an online profile as a kid, you know, middle school, early high school. You start logging all of your accomplishments. Who do I study with? What school do I go to? What literature are we performing as a group or as an individual? What camps have I gone to? What steps have I taken along the way that will help me be successful? And then all the colleges in the country and universities have access to that data file for free, which is a really unique thing for recruiting. Most of the time they're paying a lot of money for that recruiting data. This one's open to them for free. And that allows a school to look at and say, Phil Agulia, let's see, he played an all-state band. He's a jazz trumpet player. He comes from the city. Uh, he also does this, this, this. These are skill sets that we would appreciate. Let's focus on that guy and we'll contact him and tell him we have full scholarships available at the university of wherever um, because we're trying to build our trumpet studio and we want to, this is what we're trying to do. And that all of a sudden opens up a whole window of opportunity for students 